I've uh, been totally overwhelmed, overwhelmed and inspired by all of the people here. I mean, I, I, what I realized is that uh, if I would have met you last year or two years ago or three years ago, I would probably had started a company to do something like what we're doing right now. Because I decided a few years ago to apply myself and my capabilities and my life to helping with health uh, because I think that this is the field in which when we apply technology, when we apply human ingenuity, we're going to get the best results and the best, uh, because we affect lives every day when we do that. Now, I'm not a doctor. I uh, basically am a software developer, uh, but that's what I'm applying uh, to try to help. Uh, so I'm going to tell you uh, what we come up with. Before I do that, I wanted to thank uh, uh, Denise for inviting uh, me to uh, compete in uh, Doctors 2.0, and Larry for uh, having the sister conference, which is amazing in Europe, and for everybody to join us there, uh, for giving us the opportunity here to talk to you, uh, and for all of you for inspiring me over the last few days, and for the few people here that are actually uh, Medivisor evangelists and are already sharing about us, you know who you are, thank you very much, and for all, even if you're not in this room right now. So I'm going to tell you uh, why I call this to personalize what matters most, because we've personalized nearly everything and uh, Google personalizes the ads you see. Uh, Netflix will help you personalize the movies you watch. Amazon, the things you buy. Uh, Pandora, the music you listen to. But really, what matters to us most is when we're in time of need, for instance, to personalize the health information. But, uh, and I didn't need this sort of reminder. That when I started working about this on this three years ago, uh, I knew because of the statistics uh, that at some point in time, I too will have to be probably a user, a subscriber of my system. I actually developed Medivisor because I saw others coping with this, and my par partners were coping with this. But uh, I knew from the statistics uh, that it had to happen. And, under, and this is my daughter, Bar, about a year ago. And uh, December 18 was her birthday. She turned 15. And uh, she went to celebrate on the 20th, 20th of, September, uh, of December. Uh, and she couldn't uh, put on the dress because she had, her ankles were swollen. Suddenly, she was uh, with swollen ankles. So she went to have a great party, best party ever for her birthday. Uh, and we took her to the ER, and we stayed there uh, because she had congestive heart failure. And two days later, they told us that it's most likely that the best and only solution would be to find a new heart for my daughter. So I'll tell you more how we coped with that, but I was immediately thrown into the mix of being a caregiver. So it, I also realized that I could have been here just like many of my patients here uh, as a caregiver uh, because I faced all the alarm fatigue and lack of sleep that Morgan faced. And uh, uh, basically I've seen all of that for the last uh, eight months. So what is Medivisor? We all know this situation. We're in an enlightened room, really. We see this. But everybody understands what it is. When somebody falls sick with a serious or chronic illness, somebody becomes what I call a chronic web researcher. This is a new disease that is no, nobody's really treating. Okay? Uh, but it, is, it takes an enormous amount of resources. I spoke to people that spend seven hours a day for six months straight researching uh, how to help their loved one. I know what it is, and by the way, the doctors can tell you not to do it, like they told me, don't research online. Okay, without doing that research, without finding uh, the information I needed, I wouldn't have saved my daughter's life. And the research produces an overwhelming amount of information. This used to look like this, but now it looks like this, but it's online, it's Google. Uh, and really, you don't know what to trust, you don't know what's current, you don't know what applies to your situation. Very quickly, you're out of your depth in terms of the scientific knowledge. Uh, a lot of things are behind paywalls, as Jack uh, uh, reported uh, and is fighting against. And then you, uh, you get to a decision point, but things change all the time. And you need to continue to doing your research. Now, you might think, uh, the problem is you go to your doctor and they throw it all out. So it's even very difficult to talk about this with the medical uh, team team that's handling you. But you know, doctors don't have a better situation. Really, if you think about it, does anybody know how much research was published last year on prostate cancer, for instance? 
how about 9,365 research papers? Or 19,300 research papers on breast cancer? Or 35,000 research papers on diabetes? So anybody here in, with diabetes or with cancer thinking about that their doctor or medical team knows everything that could relate to their specific unique case is unfortunately uh, misguided. Very few do. So why isn't health information personalized? Each individual, we have so much data about each individual, why can't we just get that information that matters to us to that individual in a way they could understand and act upon it? And that's what we asked. And what would an ideal solution look like? Well, first, you want to know quickly what's the state of the art of science for your situation. Because uh, you're, usually there's a diagnosis and you need to quickly get up to speed. Right? So, but you want the state of the art. You don't need to worry about if this is 10 years ago. Right? Then you want to know every new piece of information, only if it relates to you, only if it's credible. Um, and you don't want to go searching for it. You want it to come to you. And not too much. And uh, finally, you actually want to collaborate with your doctor because you don't administer care and you're not really usually equipped to deal with this. So you want to be on the same page with your medical team. And that's what we went ahead and tried to build. And I say try because this is going to be a constantly improving process and we need you uh, and many, many more to tell us how to fix this all the time. So uh, it's, you go to medavisor.com. The key, by the way, is just to know enough and we ask very key questions, but yes, you have to tell information so that you could get this information. Uh, it has to become very granular, because otherwise you'll get generic information like you get everywhere else on the internet. So you have to create a profile, and then it's, it's a subscription. It's free, and it's private, and it's HIPAA compliant. Uh, and then you start getting the cutting edge information interpreted for you. Uh, you get it. If your doctor invited you, the doctor could get it. Uh, it's interpreted in 10th grade English. Uh, summarized, we try to contrast it with other science. We try to explain it uh, in a language you can understand. Um, if there's any bias that we see in the, in the study, we'll also mention that. We interpret statistics, so you don't have to figure out what are the, uh, understand this language or this domain. And if you want, you could go to the link to the article and send your doctor the article, share it. And very important, you could tell us if it's helpful because that how the, that's how the system improves with the wisdom of the patients and caregivers that are using it. And you could share it, you could use it on the go where, you're, where you live. Right now, we, add to, we have to add disease by disease, because everyone is a whole library of medical expertise and updated uh, content. So we support 80% of cancer incidents, diabetes, uh, cardiovascular disease, 75%, infertility, and we're adding more. Uh, it's combination, I won't have a lot of time to tell you, but Basically, we mine all new information, you ha we have a rich profile, uh, and we have a peer-reviewed internal process to uh, coalesce all the information. People has be have been loving it. Um, these are patients that have been using it uh, and telling us that they love it. Uh, this is fantastic. They can't find it. There's dozens of blogs. Eight nonprofits have endorsed us. Uh, many have reported about us. We are thankful to have won that award to earn this stage. Uh, and we even have a top 10 uh, health blog uh, that we only launched last year. Now, getting back to my, uh, so by the way, this is our mission. We're not doing this just for profit and not just for not profit, right? Uh, I didn't tell you how I'm making money. We're not gonna compromise user, uh, base our patient's privacy to do that. So people sign up for clinical trials through our platform uh, and so on. Uh, but we really want to improve people's lives. Uh, and I wrote this uh, post to uh, my support group when we were in hospital. Um, this, was all, this, ho this conference was so connected. Uh, is Morgan in the room? Morgan? No. Uh, Morgan uh, Gleason. Uh, I was in the pediatric ICU uh, when I got this post from Morgan about uh, her not being able to sleep because of all the beeps while my daughter was looking at her uh, A-line because the doctor said that uh, if it goes out, she dies. And she didn't sleep all night because of that. Uh, she was just looking at her A-line all night. Uh, and we saved her life about three times uh, by monitoring very, very carefully the excellent care we got. And this is her after uh, the transplant. Uh, 
which took place earlier this year at one of the best medical institutions in the world. Um, and this is her two weeks after leaving the hospital uh, in March. And this is how her daily pills look, and this is from this morning with her heart bracelet, uh, uh, heart transplant bracelet. Uh, I was so inspired by everybody here, and uh, what I want from you is just four things. We want to help as many people as possible, and we need you. This is not a representative group in any stretch of the imagination, but you have an audience. There are doctors in the room. You can bring this to your patients, and we have a program to do that. Uh, but please spread the word on this, and after that on all the other insights you've got from this amazing event. Try it out, give us feedback, be blunt, okay? We don't support all your conditions, but if we support it, I want to know if we do it well. Uh, that feedback and basically share. Thank you very much.